All right, boys and girls, some water cooling updates. So some time ago, earlier this year, I noticed an interesting uh, radiator being listed on the Austrian eBay. So I purchased this Hardware Labs Black Ice GDX240 radiator, which was listed for a very low price. I'm actually a little bit fond of these older uh, like water cooling items, especially uh, radiators. A very good example is the huge radiator, which you often see on my videos, that stands on the table upwards. That's the legendary, the Phaser Company Monster Extreme radiator, which is uh, 10 and a half centimeters thick. It's a very unique and uh, very high performing radiator, which was released back in like 2008 or very early 2009. I think it's great. I think it's even better than many of the modern radiators because these things don't really develop compared to like uh, the actual hardware components inside a PC. So I'm sure you get the idea. So uh, if you invest money on a water cooling gear, it usually uh, maintains its value for a very long time, as long as it stays in very good condition. So uh, there's, actually more, there's actually more sense to invest money on uh, like water cooling gear compared to the actual uh, components themselves. If you invest, let's say, uh, 1500 euros on a graphics card, it will be very cheap in five years. But if you purchase the Phaser Company Monster Extreme Radiator for 150 euros today, it could be more than the 150 euros in, in five years, for example. So I'm sure you get the idea. But anyway, so uh, I will be replacing the weakest radiator in my uh, water cooling loop, the thinnest 241. And of course the replacement will be this one, so the Black Ice GDX 240. Uh, this is also a 240 radiator and I think it's like 60 millimeters thick. This is actually, this is quite old, like the Monster from the Phaser Company. I think this was released in like 2009 or shortly after that, but I'm not fully sure about that. But anyways, the uh, Black Eyes models have been out for a very long time already. And I will be using the brand new Thermal Take Tough Fan fans on the uh, GDX240 radiator. So uh, when I started to get more into water cooling, the Scythe GTs or the Gentle Typhoons, those were usually the best ra uh, radiator fans out there on the market. But sadly, nowadays you can't really find them anymore. Maybe as used, but I, I don't really want to buy. Like, uh, I'm not really into uh, like used fans because they could be in uh, like in average condition already. So uh, I really like to purchase like fans as new. And there's no sense to purchase used fans for higher price than uh, something like the Tough Fan 12 or the uh, like the Noctua NF A12 fans. So just saying. So uh, there are already like numerous or multiple like review comparisons where the uh, or where the standard Tough Fan 12 is being compared against the uh, Noctua NF A12. Now the uh, Tough Fan Turbo is the uh, 2500 RPM version of the original Tough Fan 12. I think in the reviews the uh, standard Tough Fan 12 was pretty much the same as the uh, Noctua fan, maybe a tiny bit behind in the performance tests and like maybe uh, a tiny bit noisier, but obviously no big difference whatsoever. So uh, the uh, Tough Fan Turbo is the uh, pretty much the same thing, but just 2500 RPM. 4 PWM, the fan speed ranges from 500 RPM up to 2500. The uh, CFM, the max airflow rating is 70. 2.69 and the uh, rating on the original like all on the standard Tough Fan 12 is at 58 if I'm correct and the CFM rating of the Noctua NFA 12 is around 60 so there's obviously quite a large bump in the airflow itself now the static pressure is probably the most interesting part the max air pressure is rated at 3.78 millimeters H2O and uh, if I check the rating on the original Tough Fan 12 is 2.41 and on the Noctua it's 2.34 but of course those are paper figures. Now uh, 
The only thing I would like to test about this fan with you guys is the noise level. That's probably the only question mark about this fan model that many of you will be asking. Like, is it too loud for a PC system? When it comes to noise, I think it's a very personal thing. In my case, I, my PC is definitely not the most quiet one, as you may have seen already. So in my case, it's not, it's not that big deal if the noise level of a fan is at 25 decibels or 28 or even at 30. But of course, I don't want anything too loud, but I'm not like too delicate when it comes to noise overall. So let's just open up one of these fans briefly and check what's what comes with the fans and we can do a noise test. I might set up like a test trick or I might just put the fan to 12 volts straight and see what's like the uh, noise level at the max speed because that's the most important question anyways. Why would you buy the Tough Fan 12 Turbo if you don't run it at the maximum RPM? Because if you want to run it at lower RPM, you can just purchase the standard version. That's my opinion. So. Uh, you only purchase the tough fan, the tough fan 12 turbo if you want to run the higher RPM, especially if you have very like dense, like very densely thinned radiators that really like prevent the airflow. So uh, with those kind of fans, I mean with those kind of radiators, you generally want to use higher RPM uh, fans. But just saying, the price of these fans was 28 euros per fan on Amazon uh, Deutschland, so German Amazon. So it's not the cheapest one. I think the price of the Noctua NFA12 was around 30 or 29. And the price of the standard Tafan 12 is like 22 or 23. Depends on the country where you live in. But anyway, so let's just open up one of these fans very briefly. So that's the fan itself. I think the most obvious difference in the looks is the slightly uh, like lighter color of the fan itself. But seems very good. The, uh, the soft material at the corners should prevent possible like vibration noise. And uh, yeah, just a fan. Not sure if they even include like the low noise adapter or the low noise cable with the 2500 RPM version because this is meant to be run at the maximum uh, speed. So yeah, so no low, so no low noise cable with this model. So let's just. Plug this in straight to 12 volts and let's hear like how loud does it feel like and my overall opinion about the fan. And okay, now I have one of the fans just uh, standing on the table and plugged straight into 12 volts. So let's see or let's hear how loud the fan actually is. So I will turn on the uh, Seasonic power supply. So yeah, so that is definitely like not quiet. So it's, I can probably still like, uh, I can probably still stand this, but if you are very uh, sensitive to noise, then this is like the absolute max. I would consider uh, what's like uh, comfortable if you ask me. So uh, this is definitely audible. The airflow does seem good, but uh, it's definitely not quiet, so to say. Now, as, as a comparison, I have another like 2000 RPM uh, fan from Alphacool over here and just as a quick like sound test or sound comparison. So as you can hear this is definitely much more quiet. So if you are very sensitive to noise I wouldn't purchase the 2500 RPM version. I would just get the normal one. Of course I can get these I can get the noise levels down by lowering the speed of the fan. But I, I think in my case, as, I, as my PC is already like, uh, like relatively uh, noisy, it probably doesn't make any difference whatsoever if I turn the uh, fan speed down or not. But I think in my case, this will do. But um, yeah, it's definitely not quiet. All right, so let's do the same thing. Now with the two fans mounted against the uh, GDX240 radiator. So I will just turn on the power supply. So as you can probably hear, that's definitely not quiet. I think the noise feels even louder when the fans are attached against the uh, radiator. So uh, or, well, at least I feel so. The airflow is definitely great. I can feel a lot of like airflow coming, airflow coming through the radiator. 
So uh, the performance is definitely great, but the noise level is very high. So it's definitely too high if you are very like picky or sensitive to noise, so it's a saying. Okay, so now I just set up a Z390 based system with a 1900K CPU and I just cleared the CMOS and booted the rig for the first time. And now the fan is spinning at 950 RPM. So this is, a, this is the smart level option inside the bars. So, so if you can probably hear, it's not too loud at all. Okay, so if you look at the bars itself, you can see 960 RPM, 962, 947. So it's not very warm, so it's not loud at all, if you ask me. So now I will set the fan speed to 50% and let's do the sound test yet again. Okay, so now the fan is running at 1150 RPM. Next to no difference at all compared to the 950 RPM level. The fan is audible, but it's not loud at all. This is definitely quiet, if you ask me. So. Uh, I think from here I will turn the fan speed up to around 75%. Should be close to 2000 RPM. So F10. Okay, so that's the fan speed at close to 2000 RPM. So what do you think? That's definitely audible, but it's like not too loud. But I think this is like the uh, uh, like the uh, stop point for the most wide audience, because after this, it starts to become like maybe like a bit too loud for the like uh, for the most amount of users. So to say, this is definitely uh, like not too loud, but it's definitely audible. And now I will do the uh, maximum speed again, so 100%. So just for you to compare, 75%. And now 100%. So yeah, so the 2500 RPM bump is definitely loud. So uh, yeah, so if you are very uh, sensitive to noise, then maybe the uh, Tough Fan 12 Turbo version isn't the right fan for you. So uh, if you want a bit more like quiet system, then I would look at the uh, standard version of the Tough Fan 12 or at the Noctua NFA 12. I think like a good RPM value is uh, 2000. So if you stay under 2000 RPM, fans aren't like generally too loud. But once you go above 2000 RPM, you can definitely start to hear them. So just saying. I think in my use case, it will be just fine because uh, again, my system isn't very quiet. But I really want to see how they sound like when I've installed the uh, GDX240 radiator in my loop and the fans and uh, to see do the fans actually stand out from the rest of the system so uh, stay tuned for that particular uh, water cooling uh, build lock video it will be coming out next but uh, yeah just overall what do you think about these fans would you purchase something like this for your own uh, system for your own like water cooling radiators like uh, this high rpm fans and just what do you think about these fans overall? Are they just useless uh, copies of Noctua NFA 12s or what do you think? And yeah, so thanks for watching one of my videos once again and I will see you on the next one.